All state laws require Intoxiloc to ask for random breath samples while you drive to prove the continued absence of alcohol. These tests are called rolling retests or rolling tests. When your Intoxiloc asks for a rolling retest, simply submit your breath sample the same way you did to start your vehicle. Pass the test and continue to drive as usual. If you don't pass the test because your BRAC is above the preset state limit, a couple of things can happen. First, your horn, lights, and or an internal siren may engage. Secondly, your device may enter into a lockout and require early service. When a rolling retest is requested and you don't feel it's safe for you to take your attention off the road to take the test, then don't. Your safety is your first priority. If you don't take the test, the Intoxiloc will simply ask you to take the test again and again and again, giving you time to get into a safe driving pattern or to pull over. Be careful though, if it takes you too long to submit a passing breast sample, your Intoxiloc may activate your horn, flashers, or even the internal siren to warn you to take the test. Keep in mind though, if the test is not taken within the number of requests or time allotted by your state, your Intoxiloc may enter into a lockout and require early service. As long as the vehicle is running, your Intoxiloc will continue to ask for rolling retests at least once an hour, but it could be as frequently as every five minutes depending on your state's requirements. Because of this, do not leave your vehicle running unattended so you don't miss a request or enter a lockout. Please refer to your user's manual to find out how often your state requires rolling retests. For more information about rolling retests, using your Intoxiloc, and your state's regulations, please review the rest of the Intoxiloc user videos or refer to your user's manual.